Welcome to the first podcast introduction of the year. Hey, podcast bitches. Hello. I might listen to this podcast later. I think I'm going to take these very seriously this year because I think I was a bit loose last year in the podcast intro. Do you? And I feel that might not be what people want from me, you know, being the older member of the team, the father of the show, like, in, like being a father Your myself. Your daddy Nova. Yeah. You they, know, want you to, they want you to be responsible. Maybe they do. Quiet, calm. A bit calmer. So what sort of crap can we expect from you then? I say my old shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Now you, you know what changed the first couple of days of the year and then you're like, who cares? It's just the oh, same old man. I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> At the end of last year, I, pro- I promised that I wasn't going to wear uh, trackies and T-shirts every day and I've come in wearing that exact exactly. outfit. You first great, day though. one. Thanks, Bert. I don't have any news. None of us have changed our looks. No. Excuse me? None of us have changed our looks. <laughs> I, thought I, was, I thought I had a brand, rock and brand new look. I'm not. I'm just just, just joshing. Another, another, another bowling shirt? Oh, <laughs> you actually do. Oh, everything, yeah, I, yeah. everything I own a bowling shirt is realised. <laughs> but, you, but you dress like Boy Meets World well today. Did you ever watch that sitcom on no, Nickelodeon? Is that a good thing? Um, I really love that shirt. Yes, yeah, so, oh, th- yeah. Zara. It's a good outfit. Zara. Is, that, is, that Stylish. Meant to be, is that meant to be weird? Like, is Zara well, like... it's not like, you know, Balenciaga. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think it? they make this bowling shirts. Balenciaga, it's not their thing. No, Boy Meets World. It was a great sitcom. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. That's, That's they, they're all just like you. I mean, I wish I had his hair. That's such a healthy head of hair. Which one? All of them. All of them. That was all such a great them. shot. Oh, her. oh, his hair's a bit puby. Wow. Yeah, I love In that In the middle. Shot. Corey used to go for it's the Philadelphia fro. Phillies. It's cute. So I went for them too. Oh, <laughs> how old were you? Same age, I think. And what did they play? The Phillies, mm. baseball. Oh, yeah, I love baseball. MLB, bro. I like T-ball. <laughs> t-ball. I do. I played T-ball in primary school. Were you I, really good? Could I, you really slog it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the ball's there and stationary, so you can't... It's, it's, yeah. it's the most ridiculous sport ever. It's like, here, we've done half of it for no, you. No, but it's embarrassing when you go to hit it and you don't hit, and you hit the ball. The yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Or it just falls off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I love a bit. Yeah, I, know. I love a bit of T-ball. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it's, it's no netball. Oh, my gosh. It's no saxophone. I thought for about half an hour yesterday, yeah. I thought about joining a mixed netball team. Oh, please don't. No, I'm not going uh, to. No, that you'll injure yourself. I can't We can't hip. have that. <laughs> your, hip, your, your hip won't let you. Your hips don't lie. I know. But semen, you know. I thought about it because I drove past a mixed netball like, team mm. playing, and I thought, that looks fun. And also, the good news is you're from WA already, so there's your position. <laughs> <gasps> what am I? Wing Alliance. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Lee, Tim and Joel. Lovely, lovely. I've got a bit of Monday-itis. TGIM. Hanging out with friends. Welcome to Monday, guys. Thank God. Thank God that it's Monday. Why can't it be Monday every day? Give the people what they want. Oh, yes. Thank God. Thank God that it's Monday. We're here. Hanging out with friends. Oh, present. We're back. Yeah. We're back, back, back again. Oh, so good to be back in our rightful spot, you oh, know? I know. I've got. I've had so many thoughts and feelings and opinions that I've wanted to share with the nation. Have you been, like, writing them down on, like, a, on little notes? Oh, as if. <laughs> no. no. Joel's no. been doing his best impression of Brendan Fraser in The Whale over the break because he oh. just sat on his couch. <laughs> there is. I've watched everything on every single streaming platform that's ever been made. I had to Google how long until you get bed sores. And how long oh, is it? Stop, really? Oh, it's like, it's a, it's a while. A bit it's longer, a while. bit longer yeah. than that. What was the best thing you watched on the break? Uh, I love Fool Me Once. It's this okay. whodunit on Netflix with Joanna Lumley and this just gorgeous lead, Michelle something. Oh, it was great. Michelle, Michelle something. something. Michelle Keegan, I think is her name. Very oh, stunning. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. I just finished um, The Bear. <gasps> the second oh, yeah. season of The Bear. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, a year later. That won a okay. ton of awards yeah, in the last so weeks. good. And then there's a billboard outside this office here in Sydney of um, what's his name, Jeremy, what's his face, who plays oh, yeah, yeah. Um, in his Calvin Klein's. I was like, yeah. Woo, woo, woo. What, the blue-eyed guy? Yeah, because he's yeah. all beefed up for that Zac Efron movie. It's a whole oh, thing. My we're really goodness. starting the year talking about what we watched. Because yeah, that's baby. Yeah, we are. Oh, well, I, what do you want to talk about? Well, I watched. I only. I haven't really watched anything. I've taken four days to watch 20 minutes of Maestro. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know why you bother sometimes. Seriously. I, neither do I. I cannot... Um, I would love to be a fly on the wall watching you try to watch a movie. Well, you got ants in your pants. That's why I go to the... I love, that's the thing. I love movies. That's why I go to the movies. But you don't get... I, w- I also...
also would love to watch you in the movie. I watched Because Saltburn I feel like you'd get up and walk around. No. Like, I watched Saltburn start to finish. I haven't seen Saltburn. I haven't seen that yet. How embarrassing. Well, I would. So, oh, yeah. It's so embarrassing. I mean, I've seen the scene. <laughs> Don't worry. I've seen the scene. Because that's what, what me scene? and my friends have been saying. Like, would, whose grave would you... You yeah, know. I've seen that. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh, okay. yeah, and yeah. it's swinging around. You'd love it. Was it a bit, bit, bit yep. spicy? Oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah. A bit spicy. It's Where very spicy. I haven't even... Look, I don't know the what's Maldives. going on in the world. I've been in the mall. I'm in yeah. the middle of the ocean. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, full yeah. on. What? It's full yeah. on. Why is that? that? That's just at the end. Hey, Caroline, how are you? Oh, hi, Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Welcome back, guys. I have missed you. Oh, thanks, Aww. gorgeous. Good. So you should. <laughs> we missed you guys too. We missed you. Good to be back. I almost didn't get into the building today. Well, I think that's, <laughs> a, that's a sign. How long have you had that pass? Yeah, Carolyn, my pass has got like metal bits coming out of it. I didn't even realise that it had metal bits in it. No, I just thought it was a piece of plastic that knew to open the door. <laughs> Which, how does that work? I don't know. I don't know. You cut, cut all this plastic into can squares. I really, can I, re- I really... Rip it open. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he won't be able to get in tomorrow. Oh, my God. This feels so Anyway, weird. thanks for your call, Caroline. It's lovely to hear from you. Yeah, so absolutely. to be back. We're back. Okay. And we're we are live. back. We are live. It's 4.06 Woo! on Monday, the 22nd of January. My dad's 70th today. Oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday Mr. Blackwell. Black. Here we be listening. Right? Mr. Blackwell, Matt I think. Black. <laughs> no, what, That's no, a furniture what, shop. No, no. Richard. 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 Yeah, Dick. Dick Max yeah. Black. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Let's go. On Nova. I heard some gossip over the weekend. Ah, uh, yes. Tate McRae and the Kid favorite. Leroy. What? Dating? Sitting in a tree. <gasps> what a great really? combo. Yeah. yeah, that's a hot <laughs> what a great combo. Meal that's deal. a pretty hot combo, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Good, yeah. he's done good from Waterloo to Tate McRae. I know. <laughs> Tate McRae's new on my radar and I think I'm a fan. Yeah, well, I, same. I was a fan late last year. Oh, that's right. When, when you we, saw that when video. We did, when we got on Google Images. <laughs> 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 well, I'm a music man. You are. You yep. are the music man. Yeah, I'm the music and, you're, man. and you're also a gossip queen. <laughs> <laughs> and you're also something else to see it. Hey, that's a private <laughs> You've got private your new personality for 2024. And I'm, I'm behind it. <laughs> Metaphorically <laughs> and literally. <laughs> you're just so powerful, you are. I'm yeah. so powerful. Yeah. Um, so much so that we can send people to see Taylor Swift in Tokyo. We'll tell you more about that soon because that's been happening since we've been away. I've had so many people come up to me and ask if I can assist. I'm like, no, I can't I can't <laughs> cheat and steal the tickets for you. No, you gotta you got to get them legitimately. Yeah. We're, we're in Taylor. This is our year because obviously we've been talking a little bit about Taylor last oh, year. Really? Uh, Not much, <laughs> just a sprinkle here and there. A sprinkle of Tay-Tay. I know. I watched I, the Reputation um, documentary with my daughter over the break. Oh, yeah. Yes. What did both think? <laughs> oh, my God. We loved, we loved it. Yeah. Who liked it more, you or her? Both for different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a mad Swifty, but the, you know that footage of her in the stands at one of Travis's games the other day? Yeah. And everyone was like, Taylor Swift's ruining the whatever it is, NFL. Yeah. Um, I'm like, no, she's just dancing along like everyone else. Also, Leave her she's alone. she's going to support her boyfriend. Yeah. I mean, she knows the cameras are there. Yeah, but... W- 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 but they can also <laughs> choose to not put her in the broadcast. They but, can choose to not cut to her. And if she wasn't, yeah. like, dancing along, everyone would go, oh, look at that mole sitting there, not doing anything. Yeah. I'll be the director that chooses not to cut to Taylor, and then I'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, what we're going to do is we always start. It doesn't matter what break we've had. could be the long break like we've just come off or a little short break. Um, but we're going to do our Things We Missed <gasps> quiz next. Oh, everything. Oh, I, I don't know game. anything. I love Why don't you? Because I don't look at the news. I don't watch anything. I don't look at the news. I, I'm on, good at heavy on... news. Yeah, you really are into the news. Pop yeah, culture news. We'll do the DeSanto side. stuff now if you'd like, because that's yeah, what we're going to do. Oh, Ron DeSantis, Ron DeSantis, DeSantis isn't running you for want... the Republican nomination anymore. Breaking oh, news. Wow. Down to Donald Trump and Dickie Haley. Cross to me for any <laughs> more political updates throughout the show. Who's Dickie Haley? Does she do the Today Show <laughs> Entertainment? Nikki Haley. <laughs> Nikki Haley. I was going to hear that shit and I let it slip. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Dickie Haley. No, Nikki Haley. <laughs> All right, well, uh, a thing we miss quiz. I can't Coming wait. up next as we ease into the year, our first show. For 2024. It's Ricky Lee. It's Tim and Joel. Our good friends at Shell V Power here for the ride too. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel (laughs) on Nova. Troy Savan got me started. I like that. Bit of bag raiders in there too, you know. That's my friend Troy. I love this song. It's your best friend. You know, I'm a bit out of the loop over the break. 
I need a well, of this song. Couch. Just get, not yeah, like music's not yeah. I did yeah. a lot of TV over the break. Yeah, you're you're more of a, a TV person than a music I am, person, right? I am. Like I've got oh, Gaga's and mate. stuff that I love because I'm a cliche stereotype. But yeah. otherwise, you know, I, mean, I'm I'm sure I love Rush by Troy. Just oh, yeah. the lyrics. <laughs> oh yeah. This is the song. This is the Bag Raiders. Ooh. What people used to call the toolies. <laughs> it's a bit fun. Yeah. A bit jazzy. Yeah, this is what he sounds like. I like Does it. Does he get Kill? it? I can click, click along. <laughs> Clicks. Clicks. Six. Two. One. Three. Five. Seven. Go. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I get it now. You get it now. How you know, I, I specialise in um, European pop. Are you You're, doing Eurovision this year? I am, yeah. I'm okay, going to what? Malmo. I'm, pardon? No, that's not how you said it before. How did I say it before? You said it with an accent. <laughs> oh, no, not Malmo. 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 Oh, you're like Malmo. No, I said Stockholm. You oh, said you said Stockholm. Stockholm. Yeah, because, you, I, the, I mean, Eurovision is in Malmo, but the, everyone's saying that it can't be in Stockholm because Taylor Swift has the, <laughs> has the arena. <laughs> what did I say that time? Stockholm. Stockholm. Will Eurovision Stockholm. get the syndrome if they go there? <laughs> Stockholm. Oh. <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome. Why is it called Why Stockholm you Syndrome? Home. Why yeah, are really saying the L? Like Katie Holmes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Bold, being, imagine being bold in Stockholm. <laughs> Did Tom Cruise marry Katie Holmes in Stockholm? <sighs> um, I met them when they were together. Did you? Yep. What? Mm-hmm. Where? Um, at a funeral. Uh, oh. But yeah, I met them. At with, the occasion? Yes. Who, which one of you weren't, weren't supposed to be there? Were they lost or were you lost? Um, I was there <laughs> supporting a very dear friend. Um, and the kids were there as well. I didn't say hi. Oh, gosh. I was in conversation with Tom at one point. What did you, what did you, what did you say to Tom Cruise? My friend who's... who's brother's funeral was was talking to Tom and yeah. Gosh, walking up to him to make conversation to funeral would be the mission impossible. Uh, <laughs> no. He's so little as well. You gotta look for him. How little? Like mm, shoulder? Like height? Denya? Little. I'd say like a den like not quite Minogue, Denya. More a Denya. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm not I'm like trying to work out Denya. why it's called Stockholm Syndrome. I know what Stockholm Syndrome is, but oh it's named after a criminologist in Stockholm. There you go. That's beautiful. Isn't that nice? That's gorgeous. That's wonderful for a Monday afternoon. <laughs> I also found out what woke meant today. What? What woke meant. Like what, oh, what it no. means. Oh, no. Oh, Dad, you're not going to. What? Oh, do you know what it is? Did you, you, did you Google it on your new phone? No, because I've only just set up my new what phone. What do you mean you just learned what woke no, is? No, I know what woke means. Yeah. I didn't know where the word woke came from. Smart. Oh, where did it, where did it come oh, from? Well, I don't no, know you that. You guys know I'm so no. late to the party. I don't know where the woke? word Are came from. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I woke. Hashtag so you've woke. Just, uh, you've just woken up to it. You've just woken up oh. to it. Isn't that nice? That was pretty obvious. Yeah, to be honest, I've never actually thought about it. Yeah, that's what I've mean. never thought about it. Oh, okay. Okay, Captain Obvious, let's see how you go with this. Let's see how you go with this. We missed. It's our Things We Missed quiz. And I miss irritating you. I miss irritating you so <laughs> much. Just well, slip right back in there. <laughs> it's so easy. Stick around, kiddo, because we've got lots happening this year. <laughs> yeah. um, lots of irritable bowel syndrome stuff. Right. Oh, that's syndrome oh, again. We've got that fixed up over the break. <laughs> Get a Metamucil, we'll sort you right out. Which musical icon... Received an EGOT. Oh, Buzz Joel. <laughs> Buzz Joel. Oh, is it? I'm um, not that. So uh, EGOT, by the way, is Emmy. Grammy. Grammy. Oscar, Oscar Tony. And Tony. Oh, Tony. Hey, Tony. It was, that, hey, it was Tony. it that girl that did the rap, the bad rap at the at that award show last year. At, 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 no, musical icon. Which okay. musical icon received an EGOT status after winning an Emmy last week? An Emmy. Jennifer Hudson already had one. Mm-hmm. Uh, J Lo. Oh no, she doesn't have any other. <laughs> no, she's got a new album coming out soon. What about that movie? That looks amazing. The, the movie the, about like her the life. It's like the, mo- the movie of the album and the yeah. songs. What about I'm hearing that there's a scar tissue, tissue, what? Scar what? tissue biopic. Stockholm. Oh, my God. Mm. I might watch that when I'm in Stockholm. <laughs> <laughs> Learn how to um, speak I don't know. Elton John. Of course. Auntie oh, Elton. CJ. What do you win the Emmy for? For we know? Um, the... Uh, um, bap, bap, boo. Don't know. I was going to say the movie, but that was long. Now that's not an Emmy. For the Lion King? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Someone else start talking. <laughs> You're on your own. Oh, oh, it was a live on version of one of his shows. There you go. Oh, oh that's beautiful. I'll stick that Gorgeous. on my must-watch list. Elton. Yep. Okay, question well, two. Watch it at home with his kids now that he's home. 
But they've moved out there so old now. No, no, he's introduced himself first. <laughs> I'm Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. And that's Mummy David. <laughs> um, which band will be reuniting after nearly a decade to perform at Coachella? This is very exciting. Oh, I exciting. saw the light. I saw the... Oh, Joel, Joel. Joel, Joel. No doubt. Yes! Oh, amazing! I love them so much. So much. Her. She's so gorgeous. I saw that. I saw her at the Singapore Grand Prix not long ago. She's been a bit fast and loose in interviews lately, but you Is know she, has she can she? do it. She, yeah. Why? She said some questionable. She just said some questionable Why? things about her um, heritage. I don't know. I haven't fully followed it. <laughs> oh no! Go on. <laughs> no, don't, because I don't know the facts. I never no, know the facts. I think I think she's fine. Your I just fun know the top facts, line. Joel, you're, you're Joel Creasy know, from I Fun Facts. I only know them if I get them from CNN, the okay. CNN Fun Facts, which are normally about countries. <laughs> now, on Jan 14, Princess Mary was crowned Queen of Denmark, because it has given that position away, clearly. Oh, please. <laughs> cool. I love her. And they're so in love. Did you see them on the balcony? They were giggling. And... Are you serious? Did you hear, see the headlines, like, 11 weeks ago? Yeah, that's what I... Th- I oh, thought no, I didn't that, see like, those headlines. a while back there was not, it wasn't all wonderful. Anyway, I, I love love. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. At which Sydney pub did they meet? Uh, Joel. Yeah. Toddies. <laughs> <laughs> the only what one you know. Sydney pub? You know the one we drive past it all the time? On the left, going up to your house in the city? <laughs> between Darling Harbour and the city? <laughs> Just slip it in. Slip it in. Oh. The one. Just slip it in. Joel. The Gladi. The slip in. <laughs> Oh. oh, it's called the Slip In. Oh, that's a good oh. name. And it actually is also a Justin Hems venue, so there you go. <laughs> what is it in Sydney? The W. A or. I know. And it's just opened and, it's lo- and how good is it looking? Staring at me. I know, look at that. Thank you for taking me to the tennis on Friday, W. It was a, a wonder- wonderful day. Do we get to go and have a look? Yeah, I'll take you. Can you? Mm hmm. Okay. Yep, that's a tour. Yeah, for sure. Did you get in trouble at the tennis like I did when I ate the packet of twisties at a Marcos Baghdadis and Leighton Hewitt game? No. Because it was the one that went till 4 30 in the morning. So I was eating some twisties <laughs> and having some Heinekens. And I'm like, shh, oh, yeah. it's been nine hours. I'm starving. You get shushed quite a lot, of notice. Yeah, with you. <laughs> 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 Who said that this in- Instagram, This, you know how you were talking about it, you had a lot of hot takes over the break. Got so much this to say. This Instagram post made me want to have a radio show again. Because I saw oh, it and I fumed. I know. Who said I they know. put on 14 kilos Ricky, before they been working Ricky, really hard? Ricky, yeah. pss, Rebel Wilson. Yeah. Now, do I have the post? And the only reason I know that is not because of the news, because of our gossip chat. Yeah, our three-way chat. (laughs) Our our three-way gossip thread. I know. (laughs) Rebel's hosting the Actor Awards up on the Gold Coast next week. Can't attend. Bummer. I got this. I have a look at that from uh, a little early mailbag because I want to read the post out that made me so angry. That we're talking about. Do you want me to read this mailbag yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, Rebels posted a picture with um, Novak Djokovic, and um, and Melissa from Instagram has written, "Way to ruin Tim's first day back." <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. But this was the one I was talking about. Is this, is this what you said? Working. Oh, now it's gone. What's happened there? Oh, it's your new phone. Oh, you finally oh. upgraded from your iPhone four. I'm so proud. Working, the old man doesn't know how to use the new phone. Working really hard uh, has meant that because of all the stress, I've gained 14 kilos. It makes me feel bad about myself. It shouldn't, but it does. I'm really proud of the work I've been doing on new movies and my memoir. It's just been a lot, and I've had lost my focus on my healthy lifestyle. I feel you, boo. Mm, that looks tough sitting there in the jacuzzi. Sitting though. in the jacuzzi with your so memoir and your movies. Oh, she's on a yacht. <laughs> I want to be what on a yacht. I've had to get a helicopter to work because of the traffic at the Roselle interchange. But, you know, it's all good. Well, yeah, okay. Oh, my God. Still see you're going to give me the shits this year? Yeah. Um, okay. By the, I, I, Something's going to change. My entire personality for 2024 <laughs> is me being Rebel Wilson's biggest champion just because I know how much it's going to shit Well, when you. I heard you could do it's do you, Bill, and to come around there and <laughs> tell you off. Tell you off. I'm not, I'm not, tell you I'm off. not letting you <laughs> go. Okay. Last I'm, I'm her biggest fan. question. That's ridiculous. I love her so much. No, Rebel Wilson, no such a great does. actress. <laughs> okay. She was especially okay. good in Cats. <laughs> in Cats? <laughs> oh, my God. But she called Mr. And she's Mr. hosting Arthur the actor awards, is she? I know, yeah, up on the Gold Coast. Oh, it was Rose Busy? Well, um, do you know, I Rose do have... Rose just turned 50. Oh, it's Rose 50th today. Happy no, birthday, Rose! Or maybe it was over the weekend. Yeah, happy birthday, Rose. I love you, oh, Rose. Happy... Hang on, is he 50? What Say the... hi to your mum for me. <laughs> what the... Okay, last question. Why did this song shoot back <gasps> onto the charts over the I break? Already know. I already know. This is Joel. What's the song? Sophie Ellis Bexter Murder on the Dance yeah! Floor. No. Oh, 
Are you serious? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and why? Why did it? Because it's in Saltburn. And what's killing me is I remember I had that album when it came out. I purchased it from yeah. Sanity. And now all these younger people, mm-hmm. and I think I'm quite young. <laughs> um, Same uh, up. Uh, yeah, shut up. <laughs> uh, discovering it for their very first time. I think she's number one in the UK. So and how they're you, discovering uh, it. They don't know this they song. Didn't know, well, people don't twenty know years it. old. I did. I did a, a gig at the start of the year, and mm. um, it was a, a Gatsby themed thing. And I um, turned "My Heart Will Go On" by Celine Dion <gasps> upside down and kind of did it a bit like swing, and it was really fun. And one of my dancers, who's in her tw- early twenties, had don't, never don't. heard. The song! The greatest love song of all time. The gorgeous <laughs> only one of the greatest songs of all time. Had never heard it. Oh. What are these children doing? They are oh. discovering music two decades later. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes. on Nova. Come on! Thank God it's Monday. TGIM. TGIM. Oh, yes. This is Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova. From Monday to Sunday, whatever you need, I got sushi. Oh, yeah. Imagine eating sushi in the home of sushi and then going to see Taylor Swift. Oh, I'm more of a gyoza gosh. girl myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you have any songs about that? I'm more of a karage chicken guy. <laughs> and that's how you say it, too. Karage oh, chicken. Because you don't feel so bad eating that, even though it's deep fried. <laughs> it doesn't yeah, feel like eating. Because chopsticks and soy sauce. Yeah. yeah. Um, Delicious. Now, I heard you on all the breakfast shows this morning around the country. Were yep. you talking about this? Because we are making this phone call. Taylor Swift in Tokyo, 5 p.m. next Monday. Yes, no, you're very welcome. I spoke to all the brekkie shows this morning. Who's I was listening best? to you this morning on Ben, Liam and Bell. Oh, I was in Melbourne you. on my way to the airport. Who was the best? Was oh, the they best? were all a bit fun. I'm Rank them all in order. I, no, Five. I'm not going to yeah, rank them. Favourite to least I'm not favourite. Rank two, one. No, well, oh. they're all my mates. Okay. Um, uh, not, Perth. I'll say Nathan and Short. Okay, you really went there. Yeah. Um, all right. Ooh, those flights. Combination. <laughs> a thousand bucks spending money. The other good thing about Japan is it's pretty much our dollar is almost bang on. So a thousand oh, really? bucks is pretty much a thousand bucks. Oh, this is such a good To so get in the draw, get on air anytime. Register on the Nova Player app or online at Nova FM. Can I give you a little uh, fun fact that Gemma gave me yes. about oh. Taylor Swift? You ready for this? Swifty Queen Gemma, yes. Well, she sold, because you know how you, we got to see your vinyl yes. last year. Yes. And we got to test it. Yeah, we learned yes. how vinyls work. And you learned <laughs> we how learned it how to, I learned how it actually how works. Music gets quite on it. How, how does it get on there, though? <laughs> I, know, I still don't know. <laughs> Uh, she sold 3.4 million vinyl units last year. That's not the stat, though. How's this? <clears throat> this is an America is a big country. Oh, All right, yeah. Captain Obvious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One <laughs> out of every 15 vinyl sales in the US was one of hers. Are you serious? Wow. One out of every 15. It's wild. She's just ki- absolutely killing it. I know, and also okay. seeing Taylor in Tokyo, you kind of you can be that like like up yourself friend who's seen her a month before everyone else. Oh yeah. Now, yeah. Vaughn, you just have to get on air to get in the draw, so say Woo-hoo! something. Say, say Kenichiwa. Kenichiwa. Perfect. Woo-hoo! Yes. And Mandy, say arigato. Arigato. Welcome back, guys. Thank oh, thanks you so much. It's good to be back. <laughs> Monday, five o'clock. Oh my god. It's gonna be an absolute. <laughs> For those tickets. <laughs> yeah. Well, it might be easier to get tickets to see Taylor in Tokyo than one of her Sydney or Melbourne oh shows. God. At this rate, am I right? Please, <laughs> friends, stop texting me. I cannot help. Is it over now? Taylor's version here on Nova. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Let's go. On Nova. Cannot wait. The Urus Tour is coming to Australia. You and I going. I mean, you're not coming with us. I know. I'm going to I'm, Melbourne. I'm going to right? Melbourne. I'll be on. The MCG is going to be so so epic. I've never seen a concert at the MCG. I've I seen a football either. concert there a few times. Yeah. 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 I love the footy concerts. I, I have to say, the MCG is not known for its good sound. No. Oh, really? Oh, so. But it is walking distance to my house. Because I walked back from the tennis the other night. Because getting okay. a taxi after the tennis Nightmare. is terrific. Okay, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my god, how horrific. I'm not I'm not I didn't get a chocolate <laughs> like Rebel Wilson, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying well, you heads don't, up you don't have tennis to come girls back from is tricky. Homebush. We're gonna have to Oh we'll be fine. Excuse we enjoyed me. ourselves on the way back from Harry Styles. I think That's we'll right. enjoy ourselves with this That's one. That's right, we had a we had a pretty good time. Yeah. And and after the UFC when we went out there, that was pretty fun too. Apparently so. MCG is gonna be her biggest crowd ever, I'm just hearing. Wow. Oh my gosh. And she's, is she doing has, two nights or three? Got you back, Taylor. She's, like, they have smaller stadiums in the US. Like even where the Super Bowls plays, they're like seventy thousand tickets. And that's why I always think to myself, why do 
I know everyone at the Super Bowl? How does everyone from Australia get tickets to the Super Bowl? And often when they play in ba- like sometimes they do concerts in baseball um, arenas or whatever yeah. they call them, and but they, they have to you can't no one can stand on the pitch, so there's this big gap yeah. in the middle. Yeah, yeah, like look shit. <laughs> 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 Open it. Read it. Hey, Ricky, Lee, Tim, and Joel. Mobile. Time to check the mailbag. You've got mail. Yep. Same mailbag station, same mailbag time. I imagine you know, our bag's mailbag. quite hefty. It's generally today. pretty hefty this time of year. Yeah. It's um, RTJ. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a blue mailbag. Um, <laughs> Big and blue. Big on edge. Oh my god! It hasn't, it hasn't been used for this whole time. Load. <laughs> RTJ <laughs> at novafm.com.au or do touch it. Uh, or text us <laughs> 0409 RTJ RTJ. Let's let's talk literature first of all, Ricky Lee. Yes. Yeah, mm. So I actually uh, got this in my personal mailbag, which I thought I needed to bring to oh, the show. Sexy. Mm. Um, this is an Instagram message from Lauren, who said, "Hey team, I was reading Joel's book over the break, which oh, I had hat. to, which I had to buy secondhand." <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Tim, you can call me a anymore. sad sack yes. because you can't yes, buy them Lauren. brand new anywhere and she's very sad about that. And I'm, I'm really big on WOB. I like secondhand books. World of Books is a yes. great website. WOB. WOB, World of Books. Oh, I've never heard of that. That's good. <laughs> so cute. And you can get them secondhand and be in good condition, you know. Good, con- good, you can still good condition them. secondhand. Yeah, yeah, I might. Is there anything uh, else you want to add to that? Um, no. <laughs> no, no my book's on WOB. Done with that. Um, What's but, wrong with WOB? I've just never heard of it. <laughs> That's Wob. Sorry. Sorry, we just had the I'm like staring at us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some people just walk past the studio looking fabulous. Yeah. It's Wob. Is that Wob? <laughs> Where's Wob? <laughs> hey Wob. <laughs> it's Wob. Wobbo. <laughs> it's Wob. Wow. It wasn't Wob Mills the King of Moomba. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Wob Mills the other day. <laughs> I did. <laughs> what? I saw Wob Mills? Mills somewhere. I can't think where. Oh, probably in Melbourne somewhere. Oh, no. It was my Christmas show. Give With my Tunny? Christmas show. I saw Georgie Tunney at the tennis too. I've seen everyone. You've seen everyone. I've got a new it's best really friend. Melbourne's, You're a social butterfly. It's really Melbourne's time to explode, <laughs> well, isn't it, the tennis? I've been meaning to tell you this. Sorry, sorry not, not interrupt. I've got a new celebrity best friend. Well, can you, You've can moved you on know, from Troye Sivan. Tease that. Oh, we, this is, is such a good one. Well, let's okay. do that after okay. five because okay. we can't do everything You're now. You're going to be so jealous. <laughs> You're going to be so jealous. And this is no Amy Shark situation. Okay. I know because she's been in touch about that. She wants you to stop all that stuff. Well, she's like, we've never met. She, she's going to be crushed after five <laughs> when she finds out her mind. Because her new is. song's amazing. Her new song she's is amazing. so good. She's amazing. And the video is so good. I'd, I, I said to her, do that. That's That's good. That's what you told yeah, her. Yeah, she said well, it to me. She's, she's actually asked you, you to redact all the stuff about <laughs> Amy Shark. Imagine if she had like a uh, restraining order out against me. Yeah, yeah. I have to go into the other studio when she comes in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You've got to go to level four. Anyway. Um, okay, so uh, so uh, Lauren was very sad that she, she couldn't buy the book uh, oh, brand new. Same. She said, anyway, I was reading the foreword of the book and read the last couple of lines and freaked out. Chrissy Swan predicted the future <gasps> 10 years before it happened. This is amazing. How crazy is that? Oh, Let me right. read it to you. Me and my on-air partner knew our time was almost up whenever we made a mistake, missed the mark or spoke over each other. We'd laugh and say, look out, it'll be the Joel Creasy and Ricky Lee Coulter show starting tomorrow. Oh, she doesn't miss a trick, Miss Swan, does How she? Is that I know. That's so cool. Have She's back next now. Monday. Oh, yes. Yeah. So when we give away the Taylor stuff, Taylor and Jake Gray, back for that. Oh, she's, a, she's a big Swifty. Oh, oh who is Swifty. Mm. Take a number. Um, okay. I've Next got, mailbag, please. I've Joel got Creasy. an Instagram message from David. Because also, let's not make it all about Taylor, because guess who else is in town this oh, year? Oh, capital P, Punk exclamation mark, NK. Oh, Punk. I wonder how she feels about that, <sighs> about the Taylor. You well, know. she knows she's not Taylor. She gets it. She knows. But also, she's, she's, like, she's almost like, like, you know, the... Taylor's the angel on one side of oh, you. She's the devil. She's the rock devil. <laughs> she's the rock devil. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> well, you know, she, she is so rock and roll. And um, David sent a message saying, "Pink the dog, living up rock." Up, oh, I guess. Pink the dog. What do you mean? This is <laughs> pink. This is a dog called Pink. Oh, I'm thank goodness. Pink, pink, no, 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 pink the dog. Pink the dog. She's like, oh, pink the dog. No, because a, I love, <laughs> a, I love pink, and b, she would punch me out for saying that. Oh, no, yeah, I pink the dog. No, the, this dog, dog called, sorry. This is, this is David. You definitely have to say a dog called Pink. Sorry, this is David's phrasing. I'm reading. The dog. I'm this, look, there's no, um, the dog. there's no comma or anything. I'm just reading what David wrote. Yeah, no, no. Don't shoot the messenger. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Pink the dog. Pink dog. the dog. Living up. And I think he meant to say living up to Rock Queen Pink's with an X. Oh, 
from the first pink didn't have an exclamation mark in it. So that's not pink. Yeah, but you oh, still you... said pink the dog. Okay, okay. <laughs> the dog called Pink living up to Rock Queen Pink standards. And yeah. it's a video called Pink Isn't Messing Around. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen... Oh, he... So pink, this is... The Border Collie, handled by Jennifer Crank from yes, Pink. Pickerington, Ohio. <laughs> pink wants to get the party started tonight. <laughs> that is it. Pink wants to get the party started tonight. <laughs> that is uh, that dog should oh, not be in a dog show. If it's not well trained. <laughs> now I, I swore in uh, last year no more doppelgangers on the radio because it's hard, right? Because it's all it's all pictures. But no, but got... if anyone's wondering, you do still look like Tina Fey and Diane Keaton. Okay, thanks, yes. Pink the dog. Um, <laughs> so Adam came across this photo of Weird Al Yankovic. Apparently, looks like me. Um, oh, that's just Ricky. There you oh go. Oh, my God. That's a bit, actually. <laughs> that's you. But then, you know Dan, who is our man that's responsible yes. for this and that and all that. Mills is in for, not Wob Mills. Um, <laughs> no, Mills, Mills is in. <laughs> Mills is in for Dan because he's gone to Mexico for like six months. Apparently, you can do that when you're young. And after breaking a leg or something. Yeah, I know. All of a sudden, he can walk around Europe. <laughs> I wonder if he's still got <laughs> that walk limb. into work. <laughs> uh, but he has spotted my, because you know on my like, Instagram, Your- and stuff, my profile picture is yep. this Danish prince, yeah, which does look like me. It Teeth does like look like you. I thought you actually made that yourself somehow. Yeah, because I can do that. Yeah, and then I realised obviously <laughs> yeah. you can't because you're a hundred <laughs> exactly. and don't know how to use a phone. So these are all photos from Dan who took these in Denmark. I've it's spotted Dan. you in Denmark. So this is the it's guy you. again. And then this is the same guy but painted by a different person. <laughs> Maybe you haven't evolved. Wild. And then this next one, look at oh, that. Hey, bro. Oh, my gosh. That's a cool haircut. Check me. But then apparently, oh, there's one more. There's this one. That's cool. Oh, he's He's very tall, that one. But then wait for this, Jermaine. Don't hit the subject. This is apparently, this is... This is when Dan says, to let you know, though, the pictures at the castle, you do get real thick later in life. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh, no. And, and, and really, really pluck your eyebrows all of a sudden. Oh, oh my God. God. She's oh, curvy. God. That's Pete the dog. She's got a dress <laughs> over her pants. All right, thank you for your mailbag. Get him in. And be with us on the show next Monday, if you wish. Glossy's coming up next. Oh, my God, it's all happening. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel <laughs> on Nova. Oh, babes. Living large. I love that song. I, that's my favourite Justin Bieber song. Is it? It is. I've still got the sorry. I've got the sorry. I, I really regret <gasps> the three-quarter baseball top. I got pressured. Oh, three-quarter. I, ne- I, ne- yeah, I, ne- I never wear that. Stay in fashion I form. never wear that. I had a Purpose World Tour hoodie. That was my favourite for ages. Yeah. But I really like Holy. That's my favourite Justin Bieber song. Which is so ridiculous. Of Why? all the Justin Bieber songs. It's so good. Oh, God. Yeah, that's true. I do like oh, the old guy. so fun. Is that him? The Chance the oh, Rapper. I don't know. Justin well, Bieber's You need your mind. head red. Justin Bieber's not one of mine. You weren't going to come with me. Remember? I didn't want to go. That's ridiculous because you were Why like is that ridiculous? females in concert. Yeah, sex. No, Justin Bieber's I like little not nice really, sex. you know, it's up Joel's show. alley. Yeah, but... Justin Bieber's not doing, you know, Corey and fabulous costumes and Thank wigs you, Ricky and, Lee. Thank and you very lashes much. and, yeah. you know, heels. But I spread myself thin. I go to everything with you guys. <laughs> oh, please. I do. I try new things all the time. You know what you should try this year? Saying no. Mm. I've said no already to something. <laughs> I was so proud of you. What was it? Um, was it no, I don't mention oh, no, it. Was there no fee that. attached? No, I'm not you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> No. Squealing oh. pig. Excuse Crazy. Me. Excuse me. I am the one that does the most. I am. I work. I do so many gigs What's for Nova. The squealing pig thing. I'm hosting the squealing pig marquee at the tennis. Obviously, I'm not there right now. Um, but any other day, come see me for a rosé. Who are you going for? Who are you going for? I'm going for Sabalenka. And I'm going for, oh, I don't know, on the men's side. I don't know. You don't Sitsi know. The, pass. And you're not allowed to like um, Djokovic, are you? No one likes Djokovic. I don't know. Because I, mean, I, 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 I quite like him. But I watched I know him play on Sunday well, night. He's like incredible. Of, um, all, the, all the anti-vax all the stuff. stuff yeah, yeah. He's an incredible player. Is the British girl that won the US I Open never playing? Know how to Rod- pronounce like her Olivia surname. Rodrigo? Emma, Emma Radic- <laughs> Radic- 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 Radikowski. She, she was in it the other night. Oh, so she is here. I don't know if she's made it through. Yeah, she's playing. I like her. <laughs> that your girl Naomi Has... Osaka went out in the first round. Oh, I was no. so bummed. How's Serena going? She's not playing. Oh. And do you know what I say every day? And I must irritate everyone, yeah. all the squealing pig people who I've been hanging out with. Like, no, don't you miss Serena? And they're like, you've said that every, every hour day. on the hour, oh, every day. Oh, no. 
Yeah, because no one else has any other tennis chat. We know like three players. Well, the, the players have all changed. They're all very Eastern block at the moment. And it's like, you need a vowel in your surname. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> and no flags, I've noticed. I know, I meant for Dev, but he's a very good player too. But he's a bit of a grumpy bum. Yes. Mm. I anyway, like him. Who did he, tennis update Did from he your win job? last year? Mm, no. No, no. Uh, Djokovic and Sabalenka won last year. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Mm. <laughs> Let's do glossies. That's cool. That's cool. Tennis that was chat. a very cool t- tennis show. I know chat. my tennis. I like to watch it at the end. You know, I'm not watching the rounds. Oh, watch no, the women's and the start. men's finals. Yeah, if I have half an hour free on the Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I went. Excuse me. I went and saw R- Ribikina and and uh, and it went. It was it was a three hour match. Three hour match. No one wants it to go. It was incredible. Hours. It was a night nail biter. Was it? Yes, it was a nail biter. <laughs> nail biter. <laughs> nail biter. <laughs> why don't right. Channel Nine have me on commentating? It's absolutely <laughs> it ridiculous. Goals. You know the first game though, because it started on the Sunday night instead of Monday for the first I was time there, ever. Yes. I watched having having John McEnroe and Jim Courier commentate together was amazing. I loved that. Oh, see, I like Elena. I love Elena's commentary. Yeah, but just just go with me on that. Okay. Two Jim American Korea. legends. Yes, Jim Courier and John McEnroe. Iconic. Oh my God, incredible oh slay. Anyway. I haven't watched any of the tennis this year. And also go Sydney Sixers, Big Bash. Um, let's do... <laughs> Your dad glossy. really likes that, doesn't he? I love the Big Bash. <laughs> I once covered the Big Bash for Channel 10. They thought it would be funny if they sent me out there. I met Erin Holland's doing it. I'm my friend. Is she your best friend? Is she your new She's best friend? No, after five, wait, wait, to, okay, wait to hear about my new best five. friend. Oh, you're going to die. catch up on. This is too good. Yeah. Are we doing this? The show should go for three hours so we can all catch up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everyone loves hearing us catch up too. First glossy, please. Uh, this is Bradley Cooper. Is this uh, maestro related? Leonard Bernstein. Uh, well, kind of. Uh, you know how Quentin Tarantino famously bans all technology on set? Like, even the cameras aren't digital. You can't have phones. Oh. You can't have anything because... Really? Every, and, and no, he never watches a scene through a screen. He always watches you. So, basically, wow. people who do Tarantino movies are, like, in plays because, like, everyone's watching as opposed to the crew just on their phone going... Okay. Anyway, Bradley Cooper, because he was starred, directed, <gasps> produced, everything... I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. What, what, this what? is about the chairs. Yes, No is. chairs. No, no chairs. chairs on set. No chairs. Because he said that the energy gets sucked out of an actor as soon as they sit down. Are you serious? I've got a bad hip. What would I do in between what would you do? Well, you wouldn't be cast. You'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Bradley's like, sit on all the chairs you want outside. <laughs> At the cinema, buy a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I haven't, I've made it through 20 minutes of Maestro. Over four days. Yeah, that Rich and I that happened. I really to, want to yeah. watch it. Quite, you know. The I black think you've got, got to be in the right mood though Roll to watch up. that. Carrie Mulligan is so stunning. Have you That's the one thing to her I've taken away. Podcast. She's amazing. She's married to Marcus Mumford. Oh, there you go. Little wine man. Small well. Okay, Cute. next. But Oh. This is so funny. This is Deborah oh, Lee Furness. Yes, yes. Uh, the t-shirt Shit. that she wore in Bondi. Was it sh- happens? Shit happens. Oh, get it, get it, De- get it, Deb. You go, girl. Oh, pixelated? You know, Are you serious? Oh, no. <laughs> the telegraph didn't pixelate it. I also just said it on air about ten minutes ago. Um, Deb, you know, I hope she's getting like. A also, did you notice that Ricky censored herself this year for the first time? No, are you okay? Give me time. Yeah. We're only one hour in. True. Okay. I'll get um, myself cancelled within wanna, the next hour. Yeah. I hope Deb's getting some real reve- a lot of revenge, you know. Stooping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope they both are. Well, I mean, not revenge. I mean, like, break up. Break I think up. You're allowed to break up and still be amicable. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I mean, break up. I phrased that wrong. Sorry. Oh, you want a bit of. Oh, I hope they both are. I hope they're both living their best lives. I'm sure he's got his Wolverine claws into someone and she's got hers into someone. <laughs> thoughts and prayers to both of them. Wishing them both the best. Now, this next glossy, I also heard this this morning with Pete Ford and I was like, this is ridiculous. Oh, oh, what's. what's uh, I know this because Blackers was. Was storming around the office. Well, firstly, I found out uh, Joel's new favourite awards night, the what Aviation Awards in Hollywood. I know. Are oh, you the okay. avisexual? I am an avisexual. And Prince Harry's been inducted into the Living Legends of Aviation. Oh, because from his time that he served? Presented by John Travolta in Beverly Hills. But the Living Legends of people who've walked like on the a, moon have these awards. Yeah, like Amelia oh. Earhart and that probably that Captain Sully. And Jordan Sparks. And, and Jordan, <laughs> obviously Jordan with an eye. And now Prince Harry. And last glossy here. We've already talked about this movie heaps today. That would be a fascinating conversation. John Travolta and Prince Harry. Um, don't know what salt this burn, is. That salt burn. Um, the production do- designer of Salt Burns revealed what the star was slurping on during the bathtub scene. Is that also a spicy scene? Oh, yeah. yeah. So this, I, yeah. this whole thing's just real sexy. Real sexy. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. And uh, really great acting. I Carrie Mulligan's in that too. But wow. Very, very tiny part, but still. Jermaine kindly put up some, um, some video of one of those scenes. The murder on the dance floor Of scene. him running around with his todger out. Oh, you really are censoring yourself this year. <laughs> anyway, it was a little bit of a mixture. <laughs> it wasn't what you think it was. It was yogurt. Yeah. Um, a bit of milk and some water. Mm. Yeah. Out of the bath hole. Oh, like a little patini yum. It's French for mm, yum. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> or your cool. <laughs> I used to think they were just for women. Uh, like, you're cool. I always got you caught in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel <laughs> on Nova. Oh, knock off time. Boom, light it up, party time. Yes. TGIM. Crank it. Thank God it's Monday. Woo. Monday looks good on you. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. TGIM, guys. Oh, yes. Welcome to the second hour of our first day back for the year. First day of school, looking fresh. I know, first day of term. First Pack my day lunchbox. Back. Got my water. You got your water. Got my uniform on. Yes, I've got all that. You remember you get the modelling clay, the colourful modelling clay that you'd never use? That was no. always on my book list. Modelling clay? Yeah. Oh, the, the list I've got for the kids starting back at school this year. I've got to get a laptop. Clag glue. Oh, that, oh. I used to love to eat the clag glue. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Your kids are a lot older than I imagined. Well, yeah. Clag yeah, well, glue and crayons, that's what I was thinking. Well, some of them head. are in the clag oh, glue yeah. stage, others are in the laptop stage. Wow. wow. Yeah. Kids, hey. <laughs> kids, <laughs> have right? And your, your right? drink bottle is small considering the drink bottles that people get around with now because you know what everyone had in Byron last week? I'm not doing week? that. I'm not oh. doing those ginormous it, ones. Was it Stanley? Oh, Stanley. Stanley. Oh, they're the ones that the, the little, um, they can sit in your cup, your cup holder, holder, which right? does make sense. Makes sense, but, but no one very, needs that much liquid. No, I know. It's so trendy Unless it's right cold, now. cold water and then shock. Yeah, of course, cold, cold water. Where's my cold, cold water? Hey, coming up next, um, you're going to tell us about your new best friend. You <gasps> yeah. have to do it next. Yeah, I'm going to be blown away. Can we get people to guess that in 2014? Okay, we have yeah. no calls on today. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, talking yeah, cool. too much. Better 2014. It's pretty impressive. Who's Joel's new bestie? Who's Joel's new bestie that we would be impressed by? You will be. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. I don't think you two will get along. Me and do it. No, 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 no. No, I think we like we'd, we'd get like we'd have twenty minutes of chatting us. Twenty. A, a great interview in us, and that certainly has happened. That's that's pr- that's proven. Proven. Um, but no, I don't think we would like jam. How no. come? We're just different people. Like like I love her. Oh yeah. In what way? I'm three different ways. <laughs> See, she get on well with Woman. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> tall. A real. Yeah, tall. I love Jack. Jack's really tall. No, yeah. you are tall, but she's real tall. Like she's about my height. She's about my height. Yeah. Taller. Brunette. She doesn't wear platform sneakers like you. Am I wearing platform sneakers today? Yes. No, I'm not. You are. They're Nike Airs. Yeah, Yeah, platform ones. Skinny jeans on. They're, they're, they're not, very me, they're not meant to be skinny jeans. I think they either shrunk or I've gotten. Oh, I had. I are, they wi- are they wide leg? I, I had a milkshake. In, well, I, also on. Our, I just saw on our socials. I, I should not have had that milkshake in bed last night. Oh, what, what picture did Jermaine use? <laughs> the video of us walking into the studio. I, I, I don't know my angles. I don't think they'd Blair Witch things in anymore, where we have to like do all the kind of like gorilla stuff. Yeah, let's take social media advice from the dad yeah. of the group. Mm. I just did a story before. <laughs> I did a story before, didn't I? I now couldn't believe it. You didn't even, didn't did you use story, any filters. But you looked so confused the whole time you were doing because it. Because my new phone, because the screen goes right to the end on the new phone. So <laughs> yeah. I keep knocking things. Oh, my things. God. Well, yeah, welcome to the future. <laughs> welcome. I miss my old phone. I don't like, I, I've worked out, I don't, I like new things. I don't like new phones. That phone, probably. Well, do you, do you, do you, you don't like lear, learning new technology? No, I, just, I want to be able to throw my phone on, on the table. I don't want to have to be careful with my phone. Why didn't you buy phone. a second-hand old phone then? Like from Wob. From mm. Wob. Oh, Wob. <laughs> or Wob. Yeah. World of Phones. <laughs> careful. Obviously. <laughs> oh, that's all right. That's brilliant. That was a mistake, okay? <laughs> We're live. <laughs> Who's Joel's best friend? Oh. You're going to be so impressed by this because it's not... A, you know, a co- comedian. Millsy, can we get some friends music or something just to vibe this up a little bit? That'd be really good. I'll do this in the meantime. Yeah, thank Jen, you. who's Joel's new bestie from the break? Uh, it's got to be Little Nas X. Oh, oh, if only. Jen, I wish. But also, he wouldn't be a friend. He would be a boyfriend. And what do you, you think give about Jack the Flick? His new oh, thing. In a heartbeat. He's lost over 200,000 Instagram followers after his. Jesus movie. I know. Yeah, Jay Christ? Is Look, that his new yeah, song? Jay Christ. It doesn't bother me. I get why it bothers other people. Little Nas, maybe he's not my man of the year anymore. 
Oh, you've yeah, moved on. I'm, a, I'm moving on. I'm going cool. Like, who's trendy at the moment? Austin Butler. <laughs> That's like two years ago. Let's <laughs> see <laughs> so who's been at the tennis. This is what I think. Who's been at the tennis? Uh, like oh. Jim Courier. No, I'll give you a bonus. Because you look a bit like Is him. it a girl? Well, I've, I've actually made another friend, um, Sally Cap, the Lord Mayor of Melbourne. She's heaven. Ooh. Yeah, but yeah. it's not Sally Cap. Is the is the new friend a tennis player? No, but you're in the right um, world. Yeah, because you're at the tennis every day. No, it's no, no, but it's not a tennis player. Oh, it's is it someone from not, Kia? Oh, I wish. <laughs> I wish. Not um, Casey Delac. Well, that's what I was going to say. No, she's Casey, posted. she's an old friend. Hi, old friend. Oh, she's a Perth girl. Perth girl. Um, hey, Philip. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi. Philip. Joel's new friend, please. Any ideas? I reckon that's Chris Hemsworth. Ooh. Oh my gosh! I wish Philip, the man um, mountain oh, himself. <laughs> I know. Well, I, I'm not met him. I'm sure at the moment, moment we meet will be inseparable. My makeup artist and hairstylist, they look after the Hemsworths <gasps> and, and Elsa. Yeah. Yeah, your makeup artist one that told me about the chest fraser for the ice bath, and yes, now everyone that's what does Chris that. Does. Oh, everyone's doing ice bath now, and I think. Well, where's mine, right by the here. way? Right here. I <laughs> don't know. I don't. I'll get you another one. You okay. Buy yourself another, another one. No, because it's the principle of the thing. <laughs> you can't give me something then. Trash it and then never return it to it. me. I used to. I, I, what do you think I did in there? I ice bathed in Who there. Who would know? But now everyone's ice bathing, you know, and I'm, I'm an influencer. In there doing your Spider Man impressions for all I know. Oh, please. <laughs> uh, please. Hey, if, you've, if you've been in an ice bath, you'll know. You do that you in know the that's cold? impossible. That is impossible. It really is. It goes up, up inside. You. I know. I'd, I'd love to watch you try that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Yes. New, new friend. My go. new best friend. Mm-hmm. It's Michelle Payne. The jockey. The jockey. And she's going to teach me how to ride. <laughs> like a girl. <laughs> I met her and her gorgeous sister, Margaret, at the tennis. And I said, I've never ridden a horse. I never have. And she said, do you want to come out and, and I'll teach oh you Oh, my gosh, time. amazing. She's a fan of this show. She loves this show. We she love this show. Pain. We really do. How exciting for you. I know. Can you best there. Oh. Don't know where you at. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Let's go. On Nova. And how do you reckon Thinking's been now? I'm thinking, how do you think about's been spelled? About. Yeah, about. B L U T. Thinking about bout. Bout. Thinking bout. Thinking bout. I've been thinking bout January twenty two for a while because I like coming back to work and also it's my dad's seventieth. Shout out to Happy Birthday, Dick, Dick Max, Max Black. Black. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's he celebrating? Well, we've been celebrating up in Byron and he's decided to have another week on the Gold Coast with my sister oh, Steph. Lovely. Oh, lovely. Nice. Oh, you've been to Byron. How was Byron? Have. Oh, so good. I love it there so much. Was oh, the weather we good? Know. Um, yes and no, but who cares? I'm not a weather person. Who gives True that. crap about the weather? Have a good time. Just chill. Your little your little guy, um, Beach Daz, his new oh, uh, Kiwi accent cute. is quite wonderful. It's quite amazing, yeah. isn't it? Because he's been walking around going, I only eat plankton. I only eat plankton. I know. Oh, he's he's quite, quite, he, he does great accents. He does great. He's fine. He's so good. He's, he's beached. He's coming for my gig. <laughs> you, dad, you don't do accents. You've never been no, I, do, I can't do accents. Although I am doing one in Rocky Horror. <laughs> oh, Which starts when? I don't know. Well, well like, no, like Feb 11 is, is, is opening, is opening night. night. So but like then. the week before that, we have previews in is Melbourne. That soft launches. Well, like it's so I get kind of like get no, used to I'll it. be I'll be great night one. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yes, but you know a few few nights for me to warm up into it before all the you know the the big wigs come. Are you nervous? No, I'm excited. I'm it's excited. Like a dream come true. You I know. love musicals. I know. I can't wait to time warp twice a day sometimes. Ooh, oh, watch out no. for those hips. I, oh, no, my busted hip. I know. Oh, be careful. Is Don't it still, is it still bursitis? Is that... No, I think it's worse. Oh, no. Mm. Well, That's be, okay. Be That's my problem. Yourself. That's my problem, not a you problem. Rockyhorror.com.au. <laughs> well, it might be an our problem because you talk about it. Off air. <laughs> off air, but I wouldn't ever put the listeners through it. Sometimes it's like, oh, is this my hip? <laughs> and if you... St- <laughs> 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 Hey. And if you start limping, oh my god, we can't have another Dan. We can't have two. Oh my god, people no, but limping. D- Dan, our, our wonderful production guy, as soon as he started to walk for the first time in six months, he's chuffed off to Mexico. <laughs> so, Mexico, and I can't imagine how the lot. other half live. Yeah. Um, we're going to have to come back to this one because you're, you're, I do like what it's, did not stop the party. You, this is right up your alley because I vomited into a pop plant at Melbourne Cup once, and I just kept going. And that, I won't mention the marquee, but my were very lovely. About it. <laughs> I've seen you vomit into a napkin also. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel <laughs> on Nova. Yeah. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Yes. yes happy Monday. TGIM. Monday, all right. TGIM. Thank God it's Monday. Get into it. Oh, oh race here. Race here this month. Everyone's, everyone's on their way. Wait for this bit. This is my favourite bit. 
Prada, Casso, Ray, D Block. We played on Nova. Love Maybe my therapist on here, but anyway, it's good. Cosmic oh, cool. Here it comes. It's a bit hectic. It's a bit hectic. <laughs> it's a bit hectic. Here it comes. Here comes Ray's bit. That Ray Romano. Yeah. Yeah. It's only Ray I know. Oh, Ray Ma. Ray Ma, yeah, it's Ray Ma. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday 31st in Sydney. And Thursday, 1st of February, Melbs. Now, we all love tomatoes. Well, you and I do. I love gives tomatoes. Me a funny, tomatoes are my favourite. Gives me a funny tummy. We yeah. like tomatoes differently, though. Yes. They have um, to be cold, cold tomatoes. Well, for you, they do, me. yes. No, so like it should be cold. Tomatoes, tomatoes can only warm, be consumed cold. Warm with sea salt and olive oil is one of the most glorious oh, things. Oh, get up. Go to a supermarket. Where, where, do they, where do they keep tomatoes in the supermarket? On the shelf. Yeah. Because they don't know how to do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> so I was watching Sunrise over the break, yep. right, because oh. I'm just a, a truffle pig for content. Yeah, I was going to say cheating on today's show. I, I like, well, it's not actually. It's working out how I can, what, like, what the opposition are doing when I make my com- oh, comeback after the tennis. Okay, no, yeah. You've had some glowing reviews about Sunrise. You like mm. it. You like the way it looks. You like their energy well, on it. Yeah. Natalie Barr is a dear friend of ours. Nat Barr, oh, we love Nat Barr. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, look, I, I love it's everybody. Wonderful. You know me. You do. <laughs> I don't say a bad word about anyone. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, no. <laughs> That's so true. Not when this... <laughs> Mike's lit up red. <laughs> <laughs> well, even then. Um, Rebel Wilson. Um, so, George Carambaris made his big comeback onto Breakfast TV over the Christmas break. He was doing a Greek salad, <laughs> weird, on sunrise. <laughs> and then he's a man of my own heart. Little tip tomatoes never go in the fridge. Oh, Shut what's up, that, George? George? Let's do that Shut one up, more time. George. GC. Little tip tomatoes never go in the fridge. What do they you stay mean? outside. Oh. You lose a lot of that flavour by keeping them in the I fridge. I can see it aggravates right? you. How it often aggravates we, me. How often a often lot. we put them in the fridge. <laughs> so, so don't do that. <laughs> yeah. You are George. I know. You are the, you are you you're the George Colin Barr. You are of the, group. the George of the group. <laughs> yeah. You are. I'm obviously Matt. <laughs> I'm Gary. Yeah. No, I'm Melissa Leon. <gasps> She's another you're new friend her. of mine. Ex Machine and T shirt. <laughs> yeah, no. Melissa Leon's my friend as well. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Let's go. On Nova. Becky Hills Red Rooms this evening. It yes. sure is. We just saw her in the hallway. Oh, oh well, gosh. that's who was here. That's who She's was so here. tall and glamorous. She's way taller than I thought. Yeah. Nice. That's who we thought was Wob Mills before. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't Wob. Well, we didn't think Becky was, Becky. was Wob. We no. thought the people with Becky yeah, was Wob. Um, she's playing at the OAF tonight, which is one of my favourite venues, the Oxford Art Factory in Sydney. Oh, oh cool. D Silver t shirt, because they are like hen's teeth. Mm-hmm. Oxford Art Factory t shirts. Okay. I can't make it. Are you going? I can't tonight. Oh, bummer. <laughs> <laughs> I live too far. I know. I know you're not going. You're probably, you're probably doing some corporate. No, I'm just cooking dinner. No. <laughs> <laughs> lamb cutlets and broccolini? Yeah. <laughs> Yum. Yeah. Yum. I love lamb cutlets and broccolini. I love Le- Real cutlet. lemony broccolini. Mm. Oh, yeah. Broccolini's an Australian invention, remember? Yeah. I love that. <sighs> I know. Yeah. yeah. Innovative. We've gone back to old school broccoli at home, though, because I think... Have you? Yeah. Right into it. I, I like cooking in a stalk, cutting it up thin, putting it in oh, pasta yeah. and stuff. Really nice. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Sounds delicious. George. You are you're George a real Colombaris. George Colombaris. Little you tip. Are. Tomatoes never go in the fridge. Thank you, George. Man of my own heart. Hmm. Now, um, gosh, <laughs> if you slipped on a tomato, you'd end up in the air. Oh, nice. Uh, nice. Yeah. Has not lost his touch. He's still got it. Oh, my God. Imagine the emergency room over Christmas. Oh, you know what? I reckon here's my tip, and this is, might not be right. Okay. I think the public holiday coming up, some would call it Australia Day public holiday, would be one of the biggest 24 hours in ER in Australia. <laughs> oh, yeah, thoughts and prayers. To if all. there's a doctor or something, someone listening, you don't even have to have to go on air, but 13, 24, 10, is that accurate? What would yeah, be the, the biggest, biggest day? The biggest day in, um, in the A&E. I just feel that Australia Day, especially living through a few Australia Days in Perth, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm just the trying heat. to think what other day would come close. I, Halloween, people get pretty loose. Yeah, but that's in your world. Yeah, that's my world. Halloween. Halloween for is actually. I would say Halloween. that Mardi Gras weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah. There'd oh. be quite a few people presenting. True. <laughs> yes. You know? How'd that get in there? <laughs> How'd that get in there? Two months away. Yeah, and I'm going to bring it up all the time. <laughs> What's that? Mardi Gras. You think it goes all year long? It does. Because Gay TM's still near my house. Well, it does when I'm around. <laughs> it's always a party.
Um, I saw this. I love a weird injury. I know you do. 2014, love... by the way. How did you end up in the ER? Yes, I love a weird injury. And I saw yeah. this video and I was so excited and I screamed and I wanted to bring it and show you guys the video because uh, it's amazing. It's gross. It's so gross. It was oh, the best no. day But it's life. amazing. It was the best day of my life. I love it so much. <laughs> um, so Kayla, this girl from the UK, ended up in hospital because she was trying to put her bag over her over her head. Oh, yeah. And the zipper from the bag, no, no. the actual zip no. thing got stuck in the middle bit of her nose. Oh. Look at that! Oh, no, zippers, uh, zippers are a so... recipe for disaster. Are they? Yeah, have you never got it caught on your... No, because I wear underpants in between my jeans and my... <laughs> oh, I have before. <laughs> Even through the undies? Yeah, because if, like, say, like, like Uber Eats is arriving and I quickly whack on a pair of jeans, I'm not putting underwear on. Hang on. I mean, jeans. Je- je- <laughs> why, why would you put on jeans and not just like tracksuit pants, pants or the what? pajama pants? Well, whatever's or... on the floor and closest. I don't want to leave him waiting, them waiting. But also, your Uber Eats gives you this really weird thing where it gives you maybe a little countdown, like 10 minutes to go, so maybe put your pants on then. Do you know what I do? If Jack, <laughs> if Jack goes to get the Uber Eats from the door uh, and, you know, you can message the guy, I always say, um, hey, yeah, coming to the door, can't wait to see you. <laughs> <laughs> that would love that. So he always looks at Jack really weird. So what happened with this lady? So, no so... tip, though. Interesting. No, I always tip. I always tip. <laughs> do you? Yeah, of course. I accidentally, can I just say, this signed up to Uber One by mistake. Oh, no. Oh, and what is that like? I don't I've know, thought but about apparently it. I got heaps of messages. Apparently I'm saving heaps. You're probably the first person to yeah, actually I do could, it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I must have clicked something without, because I was like, oh, hurry up, please. Come on. Blah, 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 blah. And I must have accidentally signed up to Uber One. I just can't imagine it's you good. ordering Uber Eats because you're so organic and Harris Farm, etc. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was so windy last night, I deliberately didn't because I didn't want anyone out on their bikes in oh, the hectic nice. wind. Oh, you're Always so... Always thinking about others. Yep, and it's responsible. That's me. Responsible. So responsible. Hey, 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 you stay home. I'll cook. It's cool. Perfect. Done. Oh, Perfect. God, you get it. You get it, man. Um, I think we have Jason here very quickly. We'll get to Karen. Oh, you've worked in an ER too. Jason, you used to work oh, yes. in a hospital. Is this for like... Yeah, I used to work in a hospital. Definitely what? Australia Day. People get on the can. Definitely Australia Day. Perfect. Can. And yeah. is it injuries or just alcohol-related? Alcohol-related injuries. Alcohol related injuries. injuries. It's like when you wake <laughs> up and you go, Where's this bruise from? Well, so no, they're called um, UDs, unidentifiable drinking injuries. Uh, <laughs> UDs? Yeah. UDs. I just love UDLs. <laughs> oh, UDLs. oh, I know. Because <laughs> they come in a six pack? I guess. Yeah, no, it's good. But I only just have two because it's two standard drinks. And because he's responsible. And some water in between. Oh, yeah, yeah. we'll sip at that and some water. And yeah. some broccoli. <laughs> Broccolini. <laughs> Support Australian. <laughs> <laughs> You like broccoli. I know, whatever. Um, Danielle. Hi, Danielle. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm swell. What? Ha- well, who presented to the... Do you work in the ER? So I'm a registered nurse and I used to work in a public hospital. Mm-hmm. Many years I worked in emergency, ICU, cardiology, like just any public holiday, like <sighs> Christmas. Oh, yeah. People eat too much turkey, have a heart attack. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh. I too shouldn't much laugh. alcohol, mm. heart attack. What's, um, the, what, what's the weirdest thing that you've seen in the ER? You know, people, oh, no, I slipped. I and slipped this on a thing pool ended cube. Up, <laughs> plenty, of, plenty of falling on things that are ended up in areas they shouldn't be. Yeah. People are so clumsy. Like, <laughs> For that, or like the things I have said, many of them are not safe for radio. But do you, and no. do you have to go along with it when they're like, "Oh, I accidentally slipped, and this vase is now inside me"? Do you have to? <laughs> um, do you have to like go, "Oh, yeah, okay, you slipped." Like you just go along with the story. Well, most of the, yeah, sometimes, but most of the time, it's pretty obvious that the Coke bottle didn't just. <laughs> <laughs> do you think the inventor of the Coke buddy really had that in mind <laughs> when they were going for that six hundred mil version? I know. Plastic or glass or can? I hope it's not glass. Well, the buddies, I think traditionally, like the like save it for later. You know. Oh yeah, we know someone that does that. Yeah. I know. Heidi. That's why I was running late into this break because we're having a chit chat. Heidi <laughs> keeps the same can of Coke in her car all week, so she just sips on flat Coke, flat warm Coke. This is our, <laughs> our worst night. This is our, our worst night. This is our award winning news reader. What? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Heidi. Don't I do know. that. She's a quirk. Stop it. She's a quirk. Yeah, I love Heidi. I need to go back and finish my conversation with her, actually. So how long is this going to go Jet for? skiing and sipping on flat coke. Uh, she's always on the water. Yeah, she's on the river. On the river. The yeah. river. And the river is very different to the water. Oh, I don't know. It's still <laughs> and it's eerie. See? Wealth of knowledge over I here. Know. I was on the Murray River with uh, David Rain once. And oh, yeah. okay. holy moly, there's some electric eels in there. Really? Oh, oh eels really? freak me out. Oh, you're cool. Because they're water snakes. Oh, are they? 
well, you know, I don't like snakes and I don't like the water. So what is my worst nightmare? <laughs> <laughs> An eel. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel <laughs> on Nova. Thank you, Dochi. What it is. What it is, Tim. What it is. What it is, Tim. What it is, Tim. Hey, what up, Tim? How how, how did uh, X treat you over the, the holiday? Oh, fun. Yeah, well, still lots of smash mouths. You're still leaning into X or oh, yeah, you've moved on? No, we do it in the car. The kids like X. Yeah, what up, Tim? Me. Hey, how's it going? Hope you're doing all right. Mm-hmm, I'm going to okay. get you started with Grinderman and a few other artists in that song. Grinderman? Yeah, Grinderman. Oh, no, a few of those. Man. <laughs> Nick Cave's band. Yeah. yeah. Jermaine, and, Jermaine and I know loads of Grinderman. I'm going to get you started with some Grinderman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks, X. Um, a small thing in the surgery tonight. I mean, obviously, Becky Hill's around. I'm not sure if she's going to be on the show she's tonight. She's there right but... now. I think I'm going to see her. Oh, what? Is that Becky Hill? No, that's Georgie. That's Georgie, the producer. (laughs) Sorry, Georgie. Can I show you something? This is fun. Now, Georgie went overseas for for her break. Yeah. And she ran into my favourite person and got a photo with him. I wasn't overseas. Let's have a look at this. Oh, my God. (gasps) James Corden. James Corden. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's amazing. I saw I saw a tweet or an X today saying the reason why now movie musicals are suddenly doing well again is because James Corden isn't in them all. <laughs> this is in London's Winter Wonderland. Oh, he's in a pink. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like his beanie, actually. Do you? Yeah. Oh, he's a fun guy. Oh, that's isn't Georgie up in the top right, isn't it? Pig in a blanket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's gorgeous. He does look like a pig in a blanket. A I longer. love a pig in a blanket. <laughs> Jack made them at Christmas. Oh, no, my sister made them. And they were, <laughs> they were delicious. Yeah. Yeah, I've got loads that's more just, stories like that coming the, up. That's just little boys, right? Little, uh, prank little birds. sausage with um, you can't with call bacon, them boys anymore, with but bacon wrapped around them. <laughs> Remember, they used to call them little boys. Yeah, I think my do... dad used to boil little boys Are they and like, then put a big Cheerios, bowl. Of... Right, they're the little. Yeah, like that's what Kath and Kim eat. You kind of, but they kind of split at the end. But they're saveloys. They're mini oh, we didn't have this. I don't like oh, those Oh, did ones. you see my sausage that I had um, yesterday for breakfast? Where were you? I had a chorizo sausage that. I don't know about you. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like a I did see that on your socials. Like, you know, the definition at the end. Like, if that sausage had grey tracksuit oh, pants on. Here we go. We've got our, our, our Ricky Lee's back. 554. I was, I was worried. I was worried. You don't need to watch Salt Burn now because that's just Salt Burn on a plate for you. Just put Murder on the Dance Floor in the background of that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. I see them everywhere. I, it's a mat. You can spot them out. I see them everywhere. I see like a leaf on the ground, and it's you know, that shape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I and I I've travelled home. <laughs> I've been out running yes. and seen a pean shaped leaf, and picked it up off. Stopped running. Picked it up off the ground and run all the way oh home God. with it to show Rich. <laughs> have you seen our pain twisty? Do we still have it? I have seen the pain yeah. twisty. Yeah, yes. we, still got it. we showed Delta. She was not. <laughs> did we show Delta? Remember, Why did we show Delta? For some Delta? reason, we like Delta. We, we got. We just because we. I think it was like the week of discovery, and we was we like we're going to make millions of this twisty. It is identical to a pain. And then for some reason, we showed Delta Goodrum, and she kind of like shut it down. <laughs> yeah, that's a strange person to choose to show the pain. Yeah, she's, a more, she's a bit more. PG than me, oh. I think. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Just a moment. Um, well, that's it for us. I, I think I'll, pull, I'll put a little bit of Sophie Ellis Baxter back on because that Perfect. is yes. what complements your chorizo yeah, breakfast no, sausage. No, no, no. And a real sweetheart. Oh, yeah. I love Sophie. And her husband is the bass player for The Feeling, I believe, and they tour together. They've got a beautiful family. I think they've got five kids, five sons. Everything about her is perfection. And wasn't she during COVID doing... Um, Kitchen Disco. Yeah, yeah, it was so good. I love her. Remember Spiller? Groove Jet? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Welcome back, Sophie. Deserve welcome it. back. And welcome back to us. Yes. Oh. Welcome, so back good to you. Welcome, welcome back to you. Welcome, welcome back, back to you. you. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel (laughs) on Nova.